Oh, good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to do another dose of hope. You know, it has been far too long since I've done one of this, but the message I got this morning was just too good not to break it open and share, and I'm going to share it in my hot mess. And yes, I just got back from walking a forest trail, so I am one hot mess, literally. But, <laughs> but I didn't want to clean up. I didn't want to wait. It's just too good to wait. So here's the message. I was walking down the forest trail and I was doing what I normally do, which is praying the rosary. And as I was walking and talking with God, praying for all the people out there who don't yet know him and don't yet know the love that he has and are dying for it, but they're afraid to come to him. And you know, the joyful mysteries are what you pray on a Saturday and the joyful mysteries are all about the beginning of a ministry. It's about receiving a message from God and then carrying it out into the world, letting yourself open up and let that mess that you are be seen by all the world. In fact, allowing Christ to shine a light so bright over the top of it that those wandering in darkness may find their way to him by it and those seeking wisdom may find the wisdom they're seeking and through it find him. And then after that, you gotta present yourself in front of the people so that you can receive your blessings and your anointing and then after that, you may sometimes lose sight of the Lord. But it's okay that you lose sight of the Lord as long as you recognize that you've lost sight and you turn your life around and go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back to where you came from. And, <laughs> and that was the message I got loud and clear this morning because as I was walking on this man-made sidewalk, I spot this narrow path that leads off into the forest. Now, I've taken this path before, but the last time I tried to take it, I found a gate in my way, and I thought, well, maybe I, I shouldn't take that path again, but this time I found the path that I had taken originally, and it had no gate. There was no barrier between me and the forest. There was no barrier between me and the path that I wanted to take. So I step out on this path, but it rained a couple of days ago, so there are patches where it's boggy and swampy and stinky and messy. And then I come to this place where it's going to be purely impassable about midway through my prayers in the rosary. At about the point where I'm, I'm hitting Jesus being born into that mess in the manger. And I recognize that it's time to turn back. Like this, this is impassable for me. I'm not going to, I could wade through it, but I'll end up probably falling and, and getting all nasty and dirty and, and, and maybe even mosquito bitten. So it's probably better not to go that way. So I turn around and I go back and then there's a fork in the trail and I think that I'm taking the right fork, but it leads me to the gate. There's, there's a block between me and the path back home. And I'm like, oh, well, maybe I should climb this gate. Maybe, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I took the wrong trail. But then I recognize, no, no, I need to go back and find the, where the path leads. I need to go back and find my path. And so uh, sure enough, I turned my feet around and there it was, my ship prints indicating the path that I took originally to get there. And sure enough, when I got to the end of that trail, there was no block. I was easily able to find my way home. Look, folks, in your walk with the love, in your walk with Christ, in your walk of love, you're going to find moments where you're not sure if you're on the right path and it is okay to turn around. It is okay to recognize, okay, maybe I've lost sight of Christ. Maybe I've lost sight of the path. Let's go back. Keep going back. Don't give up on yourself. Don't let the gate stop you. Recognize that the gate, if there's a gate, it's because that's not the way to go. Turn your life around. Go back the way you came. Find the path. Find the trail and you'll be able to go home to the Lord with no problem. Don't be ashamed that you fell. Don't be ashamed that you found the wrong path. Be grateful for the journey because it has a lesson to teach you and a message to share with others. That mess of your life is not something for you to be ashamed of. That mess in your life is the source of the message of hope, love, and joy that you have to offer the world. Nobody else had that experience except you. You are the only one who can offer that to the world. So I just want to encourage you today. If at some point in time you recognize that you've lost sight of the Lord, 
Give yourself permission to turn around and work to go back until you find him again because he will be there. The path, the right path is there for you, but you gotta turn around and find it first. And then if you have a mess in your life, don't be ashamed of your mess. Your mess is nothing to be ashamed of. The only shame is in wallowing in it. Don't stay in that mess. Pick yourself up, get out of that mess. Turn around from that mess. Don't wallow in it. Turn around, make something beautiful of your life. And I promise you, there will be a way for you. There will be a way forward with no blocks, no hesitation, no problems. You're gonna find it flows easily. It doesn't, you don't have to fight. It'll come naturally to you. It'll be effortless. It'll be so easy. You'll be like, why didn't I do this sooner? And it'll fill you with love, hope, and joy. That is how you know you are on the right path. When you are filled with love, hope, and joy every step of the way, even when things aren't perfect, you will know you are on the right path. You'll have no doubt in your heart. God is not the author of confusion. He gives clarity. Complete and total clarity will come to you when you are on the right path. All right? Peace out. I love you. Bless you. And I hope that you will have a day filled with joy. And just remember, surrender everything to the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart on your own intelligence. Do not rely. Know that he works all things for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Know that he has plans for your life, that those plans are to prosper you and not to harm you. All right? I'm going to go take a shower, but I didn't want to lose this message. May it bless you throughout your day. This has been your Daily Dose of Hope with author and international speaker Brandy M. Miller. If you enjoyed this message, please consider liking it, the video, because it helps the algorithms. Consider subscribing to the channel because you never know what you're going to get from me. And hit the bell notification because, let's be honest, Sometimes I don't show up when I should and you want to be notified when I do because I always have a message straight from love's heart to yours and I'll talk to you later.